Hi, I'm Richard from Random Software. I'm going to be walking briefly through the chess club app that we're developing for the Windows Phone 7 device to let you play internet chess over chessclub.com or freechess.org. When you first run the app, and I'll switch into landscape mode so we can see a little better what the uh, main menu looks like on the YouTube videos, the most important menu option is simply being able to play chess. So I'm going to hop right over there and play chess. And it's important to recognize that the very first time you install this app, you'll be able to get into a game just as quickly as I just did. It really doesn't take any setup at all, although if you already have an account on one of these servers, you could of course enter that. Let me uh, resign from this because I'm not really interested in playing this game. Click. Oh, I resigned. Let's take a look at the main menu again. You have six major choices at the chess club. You can play a game of chess, which is what most people learning that do. Um, you can practice chess puzzles. Let's take a look at one of those. White wins. Now these aren't always mate in whatever puzzles. Um, you can get some mate in whatever puzzles. You can choose your difficulty. Maybe I want uh, hard puzzles or particularly easy ones that are just mate in one or mate in three. But you don't have to go with it. Quite that complex. Um, simple puzzles are often fun. Anyway, you can play chess. You can solve chess puzzles. You can practice in games. This is actually a lot of fun. I've I've really improved my own bishop and knight versus king in game, trying to uh, crush the opponent this way. One other thing you'll notice, you can move pieces either by dragging or by tap-tap. Um, a lot of people feel very vehemently that one or the other is the right technique. I've tried to find a hybrid mode that works pretty well. You'll notice when you move a piece, the highlight jumps to the square where you get the piece is going to land. So if you're dragging your finger, the highlight will show you when your finger obscures the piece more or less where it's going to be. Um, likewise, when you tap in order to select a piece and tap to drop the piece, you can pick where you want to drop it based on where the highlight's going to go, and the piece will go where that is. Anyway, like once again, I've tried to make it easy to work with on the cell phone, but you never really know until it actually gets in your hands and you try it, so if you like it, I think you're going to. Uh, you play chess, solve puzzles, end games. One of the things that I've really enjoyed on the internet chess options, uh, chess servers, is that you can actually watch other people playing games. Um, I like to watch about five minute games. Anything slower than that gets you know, kind of boring. My attention span is poor. Anything faster than that is really a little too fast to enjoy. Um, to find out what's happening on the servers. Different servers have different people playing. Right now this is uh, Grandmaster Tioro, who's actually a very good player. I've enjoyed watching his games. Against a guy named King Destroyer, who's rated in the Master, Qu Master Caliber himself. And they're going to be playing a five minute game. King Destroyer's clock is currently running out. Hopefully he's going to make a move for us, because otherwise he's going to be really dry really fast when I end up. There we go. Kind of neat. Anyway, you can watch these guys play. And you can see there's a, uh, there's a move list down here on the bottom. I can scroll back through this game. I could go all the way back to the beginning and go step by step to see what happened at various points in the game. Or I can just zip on forward, play back to time, go on to any given point in the game. If the players or the observers make commentaries, you can actually see the comments during this move history as well. And scroll back through that. Switch over here and take a look at a chess lecture. Those are particularly good for that. Um, a chess lecture is a pre recorded series of uh, uh, moves on a chess game, comments, usually played back by a computer opponent that just has them uh, pre recorded, but they're fun to watch anyway. Um, I see we recorded this a little late for the hour for this lecture to be starting on the server. Ah, I guess there's still one running. Anyway, so you can watch this thing happen. Um, talk about some of the options you can do for the display. Over on this right side, you can see there's a whole bunch of other choices for how the game is going to look. There's a main menu, game screen, option screen. Um, maybe some light colors. Oh, that's pretty glaring. Change the accent color to something a little prettier, and uh, maybe the board color to something blue. Let's take a look at that. Looks like lots of options in this thing. Um, there's the paper board. And, uh, let's show some game comments in case anybody actually makes some commentary. Lots of choices in what's happening in the uh, in the chess club. And there's a lot going on on the chess servers that you probably haven't encountered before. Um, if you've just been playing over the board and been playing uh, just on a Java client, you're probably missing a lot. Anyway, chess club is a very easy app to use. Just about anybody should be able to get on here. You don't really need to be uh, internet savvy or anything in order to get to the chess club. If you do have a chess account, you can set it up. Like I said, I'm currently logged on as Icarus because I happen to have an ICC account but you can easily switch over to the free internet chess server where you log in as a guest or as a registered member and you don't even need a password. It's going to log me back onto the new server that I just chose and when it's finished it's going to go right back to the statement uh, this condition that I asked for about you know show me somebody else playing. 
Anyway, enjoy Chess Club. I know I have, and uh, see you on the Windows Phone 7 side.